Is there anything you want to check out or whatever? Or? Yeah. Get a little footage from my YouTube channel if you don't mind. Oh, no, I'll go right ahead. <laughs> I usually pick up my pickups and stuff on it. That's cool. But yeah. Didn't have any games with it, you say? Yeah, it? just uh. Um, oh, my was, bad. Uh, All right, guys, that was an amazing deal. Uh, I've been looking for one of these for a while and found one locally. And they wanted $150 for it, which in itself was probably a really good deal. Um, as you can see, it's in really good shape. But I ended up paying $125 because I had to drive an hour away to get it. So use that little gas argument and you can get a little bit cheaper. So $125 into it. These are easily going for over $200, probably $250. Maybe you can some of them go for about $300. The condition the box is in is not that great it's in pretty good condition um, just a little bit of wear but i would not say it was like a mint condition at all uh fair though um consoles in good condition got a little bit of yellowing uh the phone's in good condition uh came with both controllers all the cords so i'm really excited about this one this one's going into my personal collection i don't see myself selling this unless you want to offer a car or something just kidding but yeah uh keeping this one for a while and yeah real happy with it uh the only thing i didn't have with it was super mario world but i got several copies of that i can throw in with it to complete it um the coolest thing about this is i wish they had more games but apparently they kept their manuals in here at least a couple of them of course you got your nintendo manuals and advertisements and posters instruction manual yeah but uh super mario world manuals inside of here and there's a super mario all-stars manual inside of here so that's really cool. It's got all the instructions and everything. So it's well taken care of. Just a beautiful buy. Not something I come across very often in my area. So really happy about that. And earlier this year, I already got a regular Nintendo in the box in really good condition. So now I got a Super Nintendo in the box in really good condition. So it's been a great start to the year. I paid $125 for both, I think. So got steals already. And it's only January. So anyways, guys, I just want to go over this quickly and let you guys see what I picked up off of Facebook Marketplace. I'm going to run into Goodwill here and see if they got any games. And yeah, we'll go from there. Yeah, here's some of the pickups I got up this week. It was actually a really good week. And pretty much every Goodwill I stopped at, I got something at it. Uh, and unfortunately, I just don't have a lot of footage of it. But I'll just go over what I picked up anyways. Um, so, let's we'll start out with this one. Uh, paid $10 for this uh, graphing calculator. It's a TI-83+. Plus. Uh, it says it works. 
I haven't tested it myself yet, but usually I can sell these pretty easily for about $25 plus shipping online. Uh, so not a decent, not a bad pickup there. Uh, there's also a bunch of PlayStation games. Uh, cool Borders 4, Cool Borders 2001, BMX Racing, and Backyard Soccer. Uh, unfortunately, Crash was not in there, uh, so they just gave me the case for free. Uh, it's a dollar piece on the rest of the games. And then uh, game, this GameCube game was not in there either, uh, so it was given to me for free as well. Usually if you ask them and there's no disc in there, they usually give them to you. Uh, they'll throw them away if not so I'd rather them just give it to me than them throwing away because I can always use the cases um, all right next up is uh, this Keyforge game uh, you can see on the receipt there I only pay 50 cents for it and I've seen uh, sold listings on eBay for this game for about $25-30 um, it's not sealed or at least the outside is not uh, the inside it's like all the everything's other than the glitch here i don't know if it's 100 percent complete it looks like it might be the, the decks are sealed so well a little bit of a busted seal there so not 100 percent sealed but i'd still say like new i think it would sell like new i think we can get probably 20 25 dollars out of that so not a bad little 50 cent pickup All right, so uh, so 50 cents there should be able to make 25, 30 dollars off that. Uh, next up, got this at another Goodwill. Uh, I usually don't pick up these Xbox controllers unless they have them cheaper than five dollars each. But I desperate, I desperately need them right now because uh, I have a couple more systems left I need to sell. I, I've already sold about 15, 20 Xbox 360 systems here around Christmas time and a little after. And I ran out of controllers, so I needed more controllers to sell off what I do have left. Um, they had five dollars on this one, everything on it's good, so we picked that up. Uh, this one they have 15 on, uh, they dropped it down to 10 for me, mostly because I had a chat pad with it. And the controllers in still pretty decent shape, so I'd say it would work pretty well. Um, so yeah, I think I'll do all right with that. Uh, the chat pad I can sell separately, probably for ten dollars. Um, there you go, I spent 25 dollars at this stop. Uh, two controllers and then I uh, picked up six games at a dollar fifty a piece. So got a PlayStation 2 Need for Speed Pro Street and uh, Tiger Woods 13 on the Xbox 360. It's like a ten dollar game. Um, they had a bunch of DS games. Um, so for of course dollar fifty, I'm gonna pick them up. Uh, Dino Master. I don't think there was anything really special in here. Uh, try to show you guys what all I got. There we go. Uh, digging for dinosaurs. My wife could read that. All right, and I can't get this one up. One hand. Trust me, it's nothing special. <laughs> but for a dollar, dollar fifty, of course, I'm gonna pick them up every time. Um, let's see if I can get this one open. Ah, there we go. Let's see, nothing special. Sega Superstar Tennis. So. Go to the next stop. This was actually at the Goodwill bins. Um, I usually don't do too well at the bins. Um, I found a lot here though. I probably should have picked up a lot more, but I just wanted to get out of there. Yeah, it's too crowded for me, honestly. Uh, but they had this Miss Pac Man plug and play. I usually sell these all day online for ten to fifteen dollars plus shipping. Um, so I couldn't pass that up. As you can tell, the receipt only spent three dollars and twenty cents for everything here. So you can find really good deals at the bins. You just gotta put the work into it and can deal with the crowds um don't know if that works or not probably just going to sell it as is and uh next up found a game but it's not that game picked it up just because i found a wii u super mario maker in there so that's like a 10 to 15 dollar game just for the disc so not a bad little stop there for that uh the xbox game disc here from the xbox magazine i believe but yeah it's got blinks and so that was pretty cool uh this uh, here is a strategy guide for pokemon ruby and pokemon sapphire and with the popularity of pokemon of course this stuff probably sells pretty well too um got basically nothing into this and i've seen uh comps online on ebay for probably around 20 bucks 30 bucks somewhere in there um 
not bad. Uh, you got issue number one for Grateful Dead Comics. Uh, that also goes for about 20 bucks. So, all in all, not bad. I had a bunch more comics I picked up, and then I set them back down. Just looking at the prices and stuff, and uh, it'd have probably been worth it to pick them all up. But I decided against it, mostly because somebody came and grabbed them up while I was trying to look them up. So, <laughs> that happens sometimes. Anyways, uh, next up, this right here was a really good Goodwill stop. Uh, I thought for sure, because uh, first thing I went to was the case, because I seen this red case and I figured it was Mario in there. So they had these uh, $3 a piece. Um, one of them's missing already. Uh, it's a Wii U game. It was Nintendo Land. I needed it for my Nintendo Wii U collection for myself, so I ended up keeping it. Three dollars a piece on these. Got Pokemon Tournament. That's about a ten dollar game. Super Mario Brothers Wii is about a fifteen dollar game. Anywhere between fifteen and twenty complete. Uh, that one's missing the manual, so probably only get fifteen out of it. And then uh, they had a bunch of uh, Wii U accessories in the back. The the power cable, uh, the, the stand everything but basically the wii u console and i guess they put that online but they still have the wii u motion controls uh, i picked these up for three dollars a piece these sell anywhere between 20 and 30 dollars online a piece so uh not a bad pickup here at all i was happy just to get those i was wanting the wii u console but unfortunately i'm uh, pretty sure that went to goodwill.com and then uh they had this xbox uh av cable for the 360 uh, only a dollar on it so of course i picked it up always use the spare parts um, so yeah not a bad pickup there um, in case you're wondering what's up here at the GameCube this is actually a Facebook marketplace pickup earlier in the week um, it was uh, five games but uh, they wanted 25 for the whole lot I already sold one of them on out of here before I could even get a video made so it was a, a Sonic DX game it sold for $25 so the rest of these is pure profit um, I just sold Metroid this morning for $21 plus shipping. So we're already in a profit and we got a couple more games to go. So they're about $10, $15 a piece. So not a bad little pickup there. And the last stop that we had, actually got a little bit of video of this. Um, found a bunch of Goosebumps books. And probably about 10 there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 Goosebumps games or books not games <laughs> and they were about let's see 99 cents a piece uh, so got about 10 11 dollars into these and then uh also got a, a bluetooth speaker on here but i ended up keeping it for eight dollars um it goes for 30 dollars new in the store and this thing was new in the package so i ended up keeping it and then the rest of these games uh a dollar 50 a piece on the Wii games, as you can tell, quite a few, and there are actually some pretty good titles in there. Uh, Mario and Sonic, Winter Olympic Game, We Play, uh, Dog Island, Need for Speed, Pro Street, Ghostbusters, which is about a $10, $15 game, um, Summer Sports, Monster High, My Sims, Rayman, Littlest Pest Shop, Lego like Rock Band, uh, Guitar Hero World Tour, and Crazy Golf, Just Dance, Monster Jam, and SpongeBob U Draw. Uh, so several games there. I should be able to do pretty well on those uh, for a dollar fifty a piece. I'm not going to complain at all. Uh, there's a lot of money to be made there, and I haven't looked everything up yet, but I should easily clear a hundred bucks on for that. So, anyways, guys, I think that's everything I picked up to Goodwill this week. So I hope you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.